And we are now joined by a couple of those seniors that have put in a ton of work and heart to get the Texas Longhorns back to Omaha for the College World Series. Talking about Mark Payton and Nathan Thornhill. Nate, we're going to start with you because last time you were on with me on this show, after you were on, sent a very compassionate tweet, a plea to Taylor Swift to watch the segment. <laughs> there was no reply, no, which I no. thought was a little rude. If she's watching now, and maybe she's looking for a reason to watch the College World Series, what's your message to Taylor about why she should watch and root for Texas baseball? Um, because it's the Texas Longhorns, and, you know, she's a country singer, and, you know, Texas is about as country as it gets. Are you into the Taylor Swift thing as well? I mean, this is all we ever talk about. <laughs> That's Nate's deal. Nate's, okay. uh, I love when he wears the, uh, the shirt he got from the concert he went to around the field. It, it brings a good laugh. Wow. See, we didn't get this story last time. <laughs> but like I said last time, you're into it. You very much are. And you guys are back into the mix to win this national title on the way to the College World Series. Mark, when you think about a chance to go back, what comes to mind as far as the biggest reason why this has all happened? I think we're just the, the group of guys that really came together. This is such a t strong team bond. Um, guys like, you know, you know, Alex Silver and Jacob Feltz and Weston Hall, guys that played a lot. Um, they really stepped up. I mean, obviously they're not playing as much as they would like to, but as seniors for them, they've made such a huge impact on this program this year. Um, they have really brought this team together, you know, off the field and on the field. You watch you guys in practice, in games, and it is very clear it's your team. And Augie even says that. It's not really his team. It's in the hands of the players. When did it become your team when did you guys take ownership of this group uh personally i think you know the kansas state series said a lot about our team um that extra inning ball game where we we had a lead we lost it but we ended up we didn't give in we could have given in and we didn't and i think from there on out you saw that it was you know a player controlled team and now going back to omaha first time you've been there since the freshman season for both of you guys what do you think is different about this group compared to the last time you went in 2011 um, I think, you know, we're just, we're excited to be there, and obviously we were excited in 2011, um, but we haven't been there in so long, and we're hungry. Um, obviously those guys, when we went in 2011, a lot of them played in a national championship, mm -hmm. you know, in 09. Um, so I, I, this just brings a lot of excitement to the young guys, and, it, I mean, it's a great atmosphere, of course, and, um, but we're, we're ready to get out there and, you know, show, show the world what we got. Is there a sense of accomplishment yet with this group? I don't think so. Um, to me, that's the biggest difference I feel from our freshman year to this year is freshman year as a freshman, I don't know about the whole team, but I felt pretty accomplished, you know, being in the College World Series yeah. for the first time ever, and you're pretty excited. But I think this year uh, there's still a hungry team in there, and I think we know we're not done yet. What's going right with this team at this point that makes you believe you can get it done? I think it's the attitude of this team, the never die attitude. We're going to, um, obviously, our pitching set's been great. We're picking up the ball on defense for them. We're getting some timely hits. Um, but just, you know, playing 27 outs hard, not giving one out away um, on the offensive side and making sure we get our outs on time on the defensive side. So, from your perspective, what did it mean for Mark Payton to start off the Supers in the fashion he did going up in the first inning with that two-run shot? Uh, like, like I said against a and when Brooks did it, you know, you know your guys are right there behind you. Uh, Mark did it for us. He set the tone for the whole weekend, and uh, we didn't look back after that. And we know pitching is such an important part of any team that goes on to win the College World Series. Talking with Skip before the Supers, he said there were some tired arms with his staff. What does it do to get done with the Supers in two games and really not use a lot of pitching in those two games? I think it's great for our pitching staff. Um, even guys that, you know, throw a lot, their arms are like Morgan Cooper, Chad Hollingsworth, those guys didn't have to throw at all. And uh, I think it's great for our pitching staff to, you know, have uh, the rest that they're going to get. Distractions seem like it would be something that you would have to worry about perhaps on a stage like this, something that could potentially derail a team, derail players, and you get into the conversation on the Major League Draft and it seems like that could be a huge distraction. How do you balance everything that goes in as far as negotiations with your pro future after being selected in this draft with the fact you're on the biggest stage in college baseball? How do you do that? Um, I think the teams really that pick you really understand that you know your first goal is to win a national championship while you're playing with your college team. Mm 
um, and they've done a great job um, speaking with myself and Nate um, about, hey, go take care of your business, go win a national championship, go make a run at it, and then when it's all said and done, then we'll take care of business on this side, um, which leaves us, I mean, you know, as seniors, whatever happens, happens to us, you know, this year. Um, and obviously our juniors did a great job handling it this year. Yeah. Um, and that's just going to be part of it. It's just the timing of the draft and everything. And um, But it's just about taking care of business, what's in front of you right now, and then your professional career comes second after this. What did the Phillies tell you after selecting you? Uh, very similar to what Mark said. You know, they, they called me and said they're excited, which I am too. But they also understood that I still have priorities here at Texas, and they uh, said to call them after we win a national championship. So let's talk about that. To win a national championship, what has to go right for this team? Uh, we just have to play our game. You know, uh, Coach always talks about on these big stages, the first team to settle in and just play baseball usually comes out on top. And I think if we just go in there and settle down and play our game, it usually works out for us. Mark? Yeah, same thing. I mean, uh, like Nate said, the first team that settles in, the team that relaxes, the team that's uh, having fun and, and not so uptight is the team that's going to play better. Um, obviously, our attitude needs to stay the same. And, uh, you know, the teams that win it get better inning by inning when they're in Omaha. And uh, it almost feels like they're just on, you know, a ride that, you know, they're un invincible. You know, nobody can, you just know you're going to win. If you're down by five in the ninth, you just, you have that inch, you know, that just says, hey, we're going to win this game somehow. And we know that's been a goal for you going back to January when you had the tweet that you were not leaving the University of Texas until you come away with a ring. You look at that tweet in January, how do you feel about those words at the point you are right now? You know, I'm, I'm happy um, that we're, we have an opportunity to do that and uh, at the biggest stage. Um, you know, obviously we're not done yet. We're not satisfied with where we're at. We have a lot of work to do. And, uh, you know, this is something that we're working for, we've worked for since the fall. And, uh, you know, we have the talent and we have the attitude and it's just about going out there and playing Texas Longhorn baseball. Win at everything. Team motto and the next step, Omaha for the College World Series. Mark, Nate, really appreciate the time. Congratulations, best of luck. And one ticket at will call, correct, for Taylor Swift? <laughs> if she wants it, it's there. Taylor, <laughs> listen up. It's there. See you in Omaha.